Yeah, you think you um what what's your fight at? 154, 160. That's what heavy. Like what? As in weight or like yeah. the, the the fight is there. Yeah. Shit, I'm them too. Yeah. I seen you said you wanted to fight one of the Charlo twins somewhere, like. Yeah. You, like they probably who I really like want to fight bad. How, how where do you see yourself that fight, right? What it takes for you to get to that fight, you think? Uh, I think it really it really goes off uh, if they stay around. Because, like, mm. I'm so young. I'm way younger. Than, I'm, like, 11 years younger than them. So it's like, if they stay around, I think it could happen in two years. Like, this year I will be champion. Like, 2024, I should be champion or close, top five. Mm. So At 154? Yeah, both. 154 and 160. So it's I mean, in there. I think I'm that Facts. Yeah, Facts. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
life still go on. It's like, okay, that's that's normal Facts. to us. And it happened so early. Facts. It's like, if somebody happened to somebody late, like you mean it, like feel it better. But like, it happened so early for us that like, it's normal. Let me ask you this then. How were you like, when did you get into boxing then? And how did you, who introduced you to boxing? I got into boxing actually because my dad passed away. Okay. So like, I was always like, and I was, when I was younger, I used to have long hair. So I used to be like, he used to be like, oh, like he he cute, like he pretty, like you feel me? So I used to always fight. Every time anything, like I was I was never really like a good talker. Like I can't argue. Mm -hmm. So I just fight. And then my mom was just like, I'm putting him in boxing. Okay. So that's how hey, hold up. Yo, you could um if you what's wrong? Is this one recording? Yeah, it's on. You could uh I was gonna say if you wanna just come through, just communicate with him. If if it's on him, you could just walk through. You understand what I'm saying? All right, yeah, yeah. So, um, y'all know how we do it in here, bro. We're the family, man. Y'all gonna get the behind the scenes, all that shit. But yeah, bro, it's crazy. I asked you that because, like, you have to be introduced to these things because these things are like like football, right? Like, I got introduced from around away. Like, you should play football and shit like yeah. that. But if I feel like boxing was something that was a great escape that turned now we professional paying bills and really, like, sure. is doing some things. Yeah. How, um, how appreciative of you now of it compared to when you first got in did you even understand what you was doing uh now i appreciate it more now mm. but at the same time to know like the business aspect of boxing it make it kind of like mm. the business aspect of, like anything i kind of make i think if get up a little bit you yeah. know what i'm saying but but I think, yeah, for sure, like, it saved my life for sure. Because mm. I knew the road I was going on. Like, not even, like, I was never that boy that, like, wanted to sell drugs and none of that. that. It was all type of, that was corny to me. Yeah. But, like, just on the anger management side, like, just can't communicate normally. Yeah. Like, I can't con communicate like a normal person. Like, I'm just getting angry. I just want to fight. That's just a bad road in life, period. Yo, so I think that rule was gonna be bad. Let's talk about that, bro. That's crazy because it's fun. I was talking to somebody, and I was basically saying like I never was trying to be like no gangster, like yeah. that never, like I was never no street. Yeah, for sure. But I always got in trouble and fought and shit like that. And they were saying, bro, like coming from city like our city, like Baltimore, even the the corniest of the is probably more street than facts. Your average street in another place. Because of our environment, sure. though, I agree. So, like, even us, like you said, like, I, I say this all the time. I never, I've never been no street. Never wanted to sell no drugs. Never did none of that. <laughs> never. Like, I don't care to you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, because where we grew up in, a lot of the street rules apply to us as well. Is that you grew up on them? Yeah, like you inherit them. It's like, like, so you. I mean, I don't know what what we would call it, but I wouldn't call it like you a street. But I don't know what you're called, but because we live by the mold, regardless. Yeah, I I think I say um, I'm from the hood, but I'm not of the hood. Like I ain't a product Yo, of that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like I'm sure. from there for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fire. But I'm not like of the hood. Like I ain't one of them. Like my block, block, block. Yeah, yeah I like. I like saying I'm from the projects because it shows the adversity. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying what I came through, but I'm not representing the projects because the can't come to my court. Like, yeah, for sure. I don't need to get phased by it. But the only thing I do hate, though, I hate where, like, kids now, like, everybody kind of, if you ain't from the streets, they think that you can't still be tough. Oh, man. That ain't true. That shit is stupid. Man, if I, I do anything for my family, mm. I die for me, my family. Like, I'm standing on it the same way he might stand on his block or whatever. You don't have to be streets to be tough. Facts. You know, Yo. like, Michael Jordan, LeBron, I mean, Michael Jordan and Kobe come from rich families. Them niggas tough. They come in... When they come through the hole and when they got to do what they got to do, they they, they, they tough. You nah, ain't got to be. Because in sports, be like, oh, you, you ain't from the streets. But even that is crazy because, like, even looking deeper into sports, right, it's messed up because the, when we have kids, yeah, and the, the mindset that our kids have that, like, the world put on is like, man, you, you got to be from the hood or you got to be from this pr certain place to go through something. And it's like, bro, no, I went through that for you. Like, yeah, sure. I'm working my ass off so you don't have to go through that just for your kid to go back and want to perpetuate a life that they didn't live. Like, it's like, bro, listen, man, I live that for you. That's the scariest part sure. about, like, being a parent. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, the young. The you young. got kids? Nah. You don't got yet. kids yet? Yeah, you was young. You're like 23. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot you. Yeah, damn, I forgot you that young. 
Okay. <laughs> Nah, I forgot you. Yeah, we having kids though. Nah. Everybody know got kids. Yeah, facts. I ain't. Yeah, I, I just had my first one, so yeah. Congratulations. No, nah, I appreciate it. Yo, so what's what's how you liking? I know you don't like the business side of it, and make it annoying. Yeah. But what's some of the um the most frustrating things about the boxing business now? Uh, it just gets so it's like it's so so sneaky. It's just like. Mm. It's kind of like basketball, like kind of, kind of under one thing. Football, kind of like you ain't in the NFL. It's like you feel know I me. Mean? You ain't in the NBA. But boxing is like so many different people hands on the boxing. Mm. Boxing used to be like a, a mafia business. It used to be a, it's, it's prize fighting at the end of the day. But now there's so many large businesses in it. It's kind of you talking about like promotional teams yeah. like that and networks. Yeah, I can see. You know, it's funny, bro, because I never really got into boxing as like younger. And now I'm getting into it. I see it, and it definitely can mess up the the sport itself. Because like, if a one promotional team ain't cool with another promotional team, they ain't fighting. If they feel like they the bigger one, they want the bigger bag. You yeah. want the bigger. Not bag. even that. Like boxing, you could be the best out in boxing, right? But if you ain't got that it or like that flash or that, you might not never see your title. It might not never get as far. But it be. A in the dark that's really like that mm -hmm. but he just in the country somewhere just not don't have no fans for real none of that how you how you get that big break then I'm curious what, what would you say if it'd you be had... tough it'd be really like real like the, the the chances is like low but we see like Devin Haney yeah for sure he went and just talking about his resume now but he did what he had to do well, I think he's he always he... been somebody like, he always he came up, he came, we all kind of came up together. You know, when you play sports younger, y'all yeah. all come together. But he always been like, his father got money. He he always knew the stuff. He lived in Las Vegas. He was under Floyd. Okay. But it be people that, like, if you was, like, in, like, you got to get into boxing, like, you can see somebody fight that you ain't never, like, spa. People that spa or never made it, they be the ones that really, they the ones that really, like, hella good. All right, so hold up, though. Because, again, your brother, right? Yeah. The city hope for real, like we know Baltimore small. Yeah, for sure. Tank was nice, yeah. and he somehow was able to get into that boxing gym with Floyd and show off. Yeah. So if he can do it, I feel like if but he's really like, good, it was so many more of us. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He he a champ, and I'm known coming up. I'm up and coming, but it was probably a hundred of us. Probably twenty of us passed away. Twenty in jail, twenty like it, it, was, it was so many, so many more. Damn, and it was but some people think, better than us. That's what I was gonna ask. I, yeah, I was about sure. to ask you that. Facts, bro. That this is giving me the chill. It's crazy because even it thinks about it. It, it made me think about like ball, football, or basketball. Yeah, it's so many niggas that's in the hood that's nicer than a lot of these in the NFL, sure. college, and they'll tell you like, yeah, it's nice, but they let the streets get to them. It be that thin focus that's so hard and so long. That change from that person to that person. But I'ma challenge you again though. But that's what make y'all great though. Yeah, it's it be true. cause you can focus. Yeah. It ain't about the a lot of people always think the sport is about the talent. No, it's about how long how, how dedicated you can be and for how long you can be dedicated. That ain't easy. Yeah, sure. I think it's really that. But it's a lot of aspects into it. Like some some people like from where we from is different. But like some people, like where we from. Like how can I say it? Where we from? Like people, some people don't be having the choice. Mm. Like they had to do, they had to do, and it, wrong place, wrong time, or whatever might have happened. Like you can't sit up here and tell me yes, that. Yes, for you sure. You can't tell me that. Some bro. people don't have a choice. You can't tell me that. I'm telling bro, you, Tank, I didn't seen it. Tank was a motherfucking orphan for the, for damn near. Like yeah, so, you if, if, if he, he was able to one, do it, that one. Yeah, one out of a lot, but I'm one saying, out of a million. But He's I the only, one. I only say facts. I only say that to be motivation for everybody else because if we sit up here and say you don't got a choice, that gives me an excuse. No, if no, then no, if no, if, no, if, if sure. Tank can do it, he's he's yeah, walking proof sure. that like, bro, if he can do it, anybody can do it yeah, if you put sure. the, the right time and, and effort into it. Yeah. Well, so I ain't going with don't have no choice, bro. No, I'm saying some people it be this day odds against him and they choose the bad decision. No, nah, facts. Yeah, for sure. I would yeah, I get that. Yeah, you definitely can do it for sure. Man. Yo, so how is let's let's go back to the box. First of all, do you like Devin Haney style? Style? I mean, yeah, he he's a boxer. I I only ask that because I <laughs> now I, I only <laughs> like ask that no 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 I only ask that because 
I'm a Devin Haney fan. I, yeah. Sure. I think I, I respect dude. I think that like I don't think he ducked no fight. I think he called out a bunch of good fighters. In my perspective, you know what I'm saying? People could say the Lomo one was shaky, but he still was he wanted to fight Joe and he wanted to fight Joe for a minute now. Yeah. It ain't his fault that like he ain't get the chance. Like was, was sleeping on him. That's why I f with him. Like I, I feel like he called out because he, he 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 I don't know. I mean What you think? Like what you asking? Like what you asking? Like is he a good fighter? No, nah, like sure. about got, his he, career, him as a boxer, yeah. I mean, like the I business like, side goes so different. Like, you don't really know what exactly happened. You know, I think he one of the, the most one of the most slept on boxers, bro. Champions, not boxers, champions. He don't give him no respect. I don't think bro. he slept on. This is not respecting him. Who people from bottom? No, no, no. Like boxing people, like people that be. Oh, shit. He just I just read it. You can't. It's probably ten people that did that ever. Not nah, facts, but I feel like there's nothing be, you can say. They could be like, throwing dirt on his name all the time. That's what happened when you. Say something about LeBron every day. That's a fact. His headline. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. You gonna say something? That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay, so who you think the most the uh, the most over underrated boxer is right now? Underrated boxer. It's a kid named Bam Rodriguez. Little boy, like he little. You got me with that. Tough. What's his record? He probably 15 and 0, but he a, he a world champion already. He was on like my Olympic team. We was on the Olympics together. Tough. You don't know who he is. Okay. So what's somebody that's like that we would know? That's probably like people sleep on him. Somebody that you would know? Yeah, like like really ain't giving their their respect. Tank. Listen, my cousin right here, right? He behind the camera, right? Bro, the stuff that we see him do. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. He don't even have to go into his bag. I'm talking about he literally don't have to dig into his bag yet because nobody's got the. You not about to sit up here. I'm on trying this to tell you, he, bro. He he's scary, bro. bro. I'm telling you, he's scary. No, he, I know what you say. We know he's scary. No, I'm talking about on a dope different level. He can box like how you see them box. He yeah, can box but like who, that. Who doubting him? I'm just saying, you ain't seen his bag. They say, oh, he just can punch. No, he really can. Like you're really tech. Okay, nah, I think I think. He showed us he can box the pit bull fight. Bro, he's bro, he he got a bag, bro. The Ryan. Nah, I don't I Listen, think I'm telling you, his bag's so deep, right? This is the first time I ever said this. Before I even started, like, what I, I told you how I got into boxing for yeah. real. Like, I got into boxing off of anger. Like, I wasn't like a I wasn't like a boxing fanatic or like You spawned your first day in up the gym. Yeah, first day. So I learned coming up probably for like my first eight years or like five to eight years. I learned just sitting on the ring, just watching them, mm. like every day. Just sit. it's pictures like Coach Calvin got where day in day out. I work out. I would just sit on the ring and fold my arms and watch him all day. Like I seen, I knew, I always knew what he was gonna be. I don't think he underrated though. I don't sure. think y'all think sleeping on tank for sure. No way, bro. They step, bro. They, they said, can't, bro. bro. They th <laughs> what? He's not even on pound for pound. How does not sleep? Okay, yeah, he a three time yeah. champion. Yeah, he, he probably more than that, four time champion, and not on pound for pound. Nah, that's crazy. He got twenty. What he twenty eight and 0, 26 knockouts. Yeah, that's crazy. And he one hundred and thirty five pounds. He knocked everybody out. He yeah. punching like heavyweights. Nah, that's a fact. Damn. Like he he underrated. Damn, nah, that's because that's a... nobody don't have to take him to that to that place where you got really show I think his he, arsenal. I think he just got to get one of them big big fights. That might be it. It's it's hard though. They said the last one. He knocked him out. Facts, bro. It's but you know what's crazy, and I this is uh I wanted to talk to Tank about this because the the Shakur Stevenson shit, like yeah. everybody was like I feel him. Like everybody was on his dick. Everybody's fucking with him, and then it's that business shit. Nigga start saying slick shit just to get a fight when it's like, bro, you don't gotta do that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Especially like, when you like, in the, yeah, like cool. no yeah, like niggas no niggas. Like you ain't gotta jump out your character to. Are you feel me? Like, I'm not, especially where we from, it's kind of hit different. Like, people now just do stuff for clout, like, just cuss at people, all that. Where we from, like, nigga not playing that. Like, it's a whole different. Like, I got, if you ain't about to disrespect me, I got to go home to yeah. some niggas that really don't play about disrespect. Yeah. Like, oh, you let him disrespect you? Like, we don't play that. You think it's hard to to um, to um juggle the, the street life, right? Not like street life, yeah, like we street niggas, but the street life and the professional life. 
Because when sometimes niggas just doing it just for the profession. Niggas yeah. is just trying to sell a fight. Yeah, it's definitely hard to juggle. Because it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we be around people that's really like, feel me, your uncle, cousin, somebody you know, he really outside. And you know people, all the people that you know really outside. Mm. So it's like, disrespect is not what you was brought up on. And nowadays, disrespect is just normal. Like It's crazy. Like, they normalize just disrespecting people. people I see people get disrespected just driving driving down the street. Like, you just disrespect people. Mm. Where we from, people don't, we seen people really die for it. Like, die about simple stuff, so... That's not what we do, so it's definitely hard. Yo, you think it's um I wanna ask this. Coming from the city, right? I, I we gonna keep on talking about it because we from the city. It is, yeah, it is what it is. Fuck it. When you get that level of success and you see niggas like start crashing out, right? Not even intentional, right? How hard is it to to be on a straight and narrow when you have so much, so many people looking at you and the spotlight is on you? Tough you and not try. even knowing better, right? Because you ain't never get this. Yeah, for you never sure. had this much success. So I probably like just like I don't like when people be trying to like LA they perfect. I probably just like learned that probably like a year ago. Mm. Like sometimes it can't. It just gotta be you and your goal. Like you just gotta be focused to that. Like they ain't on what you on for real. Or mm. sometimes you can't even be in that mix. But it's still love. Like just because mm. you ain't around, it's, it be still love. But it it be hard though because. People don't see what you see. Mm. People don't see you. Like, somebody can't tell you what the J Hill podcast was going how big it was going to be. You probably been saying that. Mm. But now everybody going to say they saying that now because it's happening. Mm. So, like, you just got tunnel vision. Nah. Yo, but even that, right? That kind of got to play hard on your, your heart, right? Because coming up, like, we all wanted the love from our city. Yeah, for sure. Right? So, like, think about it. you get a fight and it's, I don't know, it's in Baltimore. Yeah. You try and go out, but in your mind, you know you're not really supposed to because it's like, man, I got to stay tunnel vision. Yeah. That shit got to fuck with you, too, because it's like, bro, come on. like I want the love. I want to feel the love, and I'm finally in a position where I can feel the love. Yeah, I think I think the hardest part be, like, regular, like, not even when I'm fighting. When I'm fighting, like, Baltimore got a weird way of, like, getting together. Like, mm-hmm. you would know when y'all together, but it be just weird. Like, they, they don't say it, like, yeah. but you know, like, oh, yeah, they got my back. But it kind of be like just regular times, like when I just regular go back or regular when I'm around and like say your homeboy's out, but you just know like I can't go to that place. Mm-hmm. Like it's just hole in the wall. Like, but that might be where everybody at. But you know deep down inside, like I can't go right there. Mm. Yo, how is it being next to Tank, him having to learn some of these lessons, right? And you just being there, you you y'all had the conversation, y'all family, y'all brothers. Yeah, sure. But then you see like everybody speculating and saying what they think. And, like, people be judgmental as fuck. How was that, like, dealing with him when he actually had to go through, like, real hard times? Oh, it was, it was tough because in a certain point of, our, like, my life and his life, like, he was such a big, he he's such a big brother to me. Like, it was way different than boxing. So mm. when he was going through his stuff, it kind of was like, like, what the hell? Like, mm. it was just different. It was just weird because he one of them people that you never see, like, like, he come from a foster home. You never hear him cry about it. Like, he ain't, mm. like, you see them talk about it, but he don't really cry about too much. Yeah. So it's like, then you see him going through something, and you see it's kind of affecting him a little bit, but like you can't do nothing for him. Mm. So that part was probably, like, the hardest. Bro, I swear, bro. I met this nigga probably, like, twice or three times. Probably a couple times through Fiddle, because Fiddle from the project. We from yeah. the same project. But, like, when I say, bro, like, seeing him, bro, it really, like, it brings tears of joy to a nigga. Yeah, you like, would never know. You would never think uh, he came from. Bro, came like from, you would yeah. never understand. Just seeing a nigga from Baltimore just be on top. Like, I don't, bro, niggas be hating. I don't understand, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. I root for greatness. Like, I, I root yeah, for, for sure. LeBron, like, Kobe, anybody that's Tom Br- I root for greatness because that's where I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. see myself as one of them. So, like, just seeing, like, just how far he came, bro. Like, that shit, man, it come from me. And I'm... Uh, outside, I know yeah, sure. being inside is like, bro, like, yo, you really the one no matter what. Yeah, it be hard because sometimes, like, I really, he really showed me, like, damn near everything I know. Like, of course, I, I started doing my own thing, but everything I know really, like, originated from him, kind of. Like, mm. he the first person to hold my hand and, like, show me the ropes and stuff. So it kind of be like, he just my big brother to me. Yeah. But probably, like, either, like, in the gym or, like, when we actually fight together, I you had that moment like shit like 
this is like you like he really like yeah like this is tank yeah, like this shit we really might different some, but that's what like niggas in the city because they and that's what I hate about people period like a nigga think because they know you or they see you they like you still like regular like nah nigga like yeah I was just talking about that last like, night that's nah true. nigga yeah. like these niggas is not regular and that's yeah. why I, every time I get a chance I always want anybody I'm interviewing like I want to get niggas that rose even you nigga like. Like niggas think it's fu- niggas get it fucked up because we got access or so we think we know you. Yeah. Like nah, bro. Like niggas is doing things that niggas dreamed of. Yeah, but and I kind of like it to be like, feel me? Like I don't know. I think it's because where we from. But I don't, I kind of like it to be like don't what like just low life. Like I nah. don't think about it. Like I don't think about it because I don't I don't ever want to get on that like balloon head type mm. of thing. You want to stay home? To I go get back it. where we came from, like yeah. you'd be a fool. I didn't seen so many people do it. Like, should be the man, and then mm-hmm. balloon here. Like, I kind of like it to be like it's cool to get my flowers some days, but like, tell me, like you gotta keep going. I rather more of them more of them conversations than than telling me. So let me ask you this, then, bro. As crazy as this boxing world getting, bro, I, you know, you just got your first L. Yeah. And it's like with boxing nowadays, it's like a L is like the end of the world. Seems like that's how niggas carry it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How was it when 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 that happened for you? Uh, it was it was different type of phases. Like if anybody know me, I'm a real competitor. Like not even just on no boxing stuff. Like nigga, we could go to LA Fitness, Uno. I fuck around. Like I would be real life mad. Like you know that one homeboy that's mad after y'all. Mm-hmm. Like still mad the rest of the day. So that phase jumped in first, and then second was like, damn, like I lost. You gotta live with that for real. Like you got, you got admit first to why you lost. But then, our toughness came back. Like mm. when I come home, like I came home, kids and stuff. They they still love you for yeah. like it don't matter. Then that's when they kicked in, like, oh no, I gotta go harder. Like, this ain't this ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. And then I had surgery. So that was like, it was just all different effects. But uh it come with the game. A lot of champions lost, a lot of champions uh took defeats, a lot of them got knocked out, a lot of things happened. But it's about how you get back up. Thanks. I kinda been like I got one of those careers that kinda been like damn near perfect. So I think it's really like challenging me. Mm-hmm. But I never lost a national before. I never I always like I'm like one of the best decorated amateurs ever in USA boxing. So I was like, I kind of think it was for the better for me. I was gonna ask you, do you think it it was needed? Yeah, I kind of think so. Just just more so on the outside, like not even on the boxing type, but like you need to go harder, you need to go further, and you need to like watch who you around, stuff like that. I think that's where it got me. Like that's where it really taught me a lesson. Just focus. Yeah. Do you think you do you think you wasn't focused going into it though? Yeah, like you gotta live with yourself. Like when something go wrong, you you gotta think about what you know what you know. Like you can't lie to yourself. Like you know what you ain't did. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So like little things like playing around with girls when you ain't used to. Like certain times, certain foods, like a lot of stuff. So mm. yeah, I think yeah for sure. I I, I slacked up a little. bit. Was that your first fight? In, um, cause you you just got this overtime situation. What, what, you been had yeah, that was my first fight with overtime. So, do you think it was? I don't want to say the stage was too big, but do you think so, that played a part in it too? Like just because no. there's a lot of success that came with it too. Like that was a big yeah. deal. Yeah, for sure. I think. I mean, I think it was big for sure. Even the next fight's gonna be big. It's a part of my process that I think some people gonna like and some people don't. Mm. But that's what you know who love you and, and yeah, what it is. That's a fact. But, yeah, I think it was it was fire, but I don't think the the lights was nothing. Mm. Yeah, you think you um what what you fight at? One fifty four, one sixty. That's what like, heavy. Like what? As in weight or like yeah. the, the the fight is there? Yeah, shit, I'm them too. Yeah, I seen you said you wanted to fight one of the Charlo twins somewhere. Like yeah, you, like they probably who I really like want to fight bad. How long? How where do you see yourself? That fight, right? What it takes for you to get to that fight? You think? Uh, I think it really, it really goes off of if they stay around. Cause like mm. I'm so young, I'm way younger. Than, I'm like 11 years younger than them. So it's like if they stay around, I think it can happen in two years. Like this year, I will be champion. Like 2024, I should be champion or close top five. Mm. So at 154. Yeah, both 154 and 160. 
So it's I mean, some niggas in there. Shit, I think I'm that nigga. Facts. Yeah, Facts. yeah, yeah. Talk that shit. So I think <laughs> I think it can happen it's just if they stay around. You know, they kind of on their way out. But even with that, so curious again with how boxing is like. You think niggas is really gonna give you that shot? It might be easier now that you got an L. Maybe because I know the crazy thing was I wasn't getting fights mm. because. They could be scared. It's yeah. too much to lose. Like, I got yeah. too much to lose. Why? Yeah. Why take? Fact. Like I got every, that, and that's one thing I'm learning. Like boxes, and it makes sense. It's like, bro, I got too much to lose to fight a nigga like like Boots, right? For example, Boots probably is gonna probably be hard for him to get a a, a real fight for because a long time. Like, they want to drain him. Like yeah. inactivity. It's like, bro, it's too like because if I lose, I lose everything. You gain everything. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It don't it don't make sense. But now that now having an L would probably help you out. It might it might make niggas sleep I on think, you. I think it was for the better. Mm. You know, at the mm. end of the day, I follow God's process. Mm. I like that. Yeah, I feel like I don't know, man. I, I I do like back in again. I wasn't into it, but I do like back in the day boxing because like everybody was just fighting everybody. Yeah, me too. Like it niggas was just is tougher. Like nah, niggas wasn't just, soft. Nah, you know this shit's hard, bro. Like, who you who, who you guys are fighting? Your next fight already? Nah, I'm still. I had I'm like uh, a month and a half, two months out of surgery. Okay. So probably like March, April. What you had surgery on your hand? No, nah, my shoulder. Your shoulder, your shoulder, yeah. My yeah. shoulder. And my foot. What happened with your shoulder? Uh my labrum head tore. So how long does that take to heal? Uh like three months. And then when you fight, like Then I gotta get in the gym. Yeah, I was so, about to say. Yeah, so like I'm working out now like therapy and stuff, but it ain't like I'm punching. You working with Calvin too, right? Yeah, for sure. Yo, question. What's the difference between like a Calvin and like what's the nigga um Charlo, uh, Ryan now, and um, uh, Derek James. Yeah, what what what, what you think the difference between them two is? Because like he won the they the, they, the, they, they. I really can't, it's crazy you talk about it because I really did want to see like talk about it because I don't really like talking, but like Calvin's so different and he gonna get his flowers when I when I come champion. I think that's when he really gonna get like his recognition. But okay. he started us from nothing. Like right. we straight out the out the street. Like. Me and Tank ain't never had no other coach or been straight up. Them niggas are already champions and then go to him. Or already okay. already been fighting and then go to him. Okay. But it's not t- taking nothing from him, but it's so hard to get somebody from nothing, like first ever a punch, then building them that high. So you think basically like if he gets another one, he got Tank. If he can get another one. Then see. Like, oh, it ain't just. Uh, it ain't just. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because, I mean, I don't know. I, I fuck with Calvin. I think yeah. like. Bro, I, I don't know. It's something about the city, bro. Like he gives me Baltimore nigga. Like it's more family. It's yeah. really not really like coach. Like you feel me? Like them niggas just be they they trainers. Like mm. it would be like our dad for real. So who would the next fight like realistically that you could see you, you fighting? The next person you could see you fighting? Uh, I probably probably fight like a contender or something when I first come back, and then uh, I really want a rematch for real. Just just the. Just to show him. Like, the dude you fought though, yeah. was he somebody like he was he had a big name or like y'all kind of like he just tough. Like he fought a lot of the champions. He beat uh he beat a lot of the champions. He beat a lot of undefeated people. Tough Mexican, real life Mexican. How do you get in, in shape for a fight like that though? Like are you just spar? Does Tank you have enough really. time to spar you all the time to get you in shape? With- no, he ain't the only person. I'm kind of like too big for him now. Okay, but last camp we sparred. So wh- like, how so you happy. how you how you get in shape for these niggas like? You gotta put the grind in. Work two three times a day. Who you sparring though? Because I know you. I know you sparring. No, nah, I know you sparred sparred Shakur back in the day. You, I like, sparred. Oh, I yeah, sparred everybody. But I'm saying like, like when you, you in camp, you spar like somebody that's tough or somebody that's like the opponent. Or mm. like a lot of people in my camp just just spar them. Mm. So you gonna try to get the? Re- you think you gonna get the rematch? Yeah, I think so. Nah, I fuck with it, bro. This is fire, bro. Nah, man. How 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 about everything else though, man? Like how do, how your mental like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my mental my mental been amazing. Cause I'm like, this is the first time where you had to like face adversity. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like with life, cause you I'm I'm young. It was mm-hmm. like this is the first time. It always just been sports. Like, it's the first time I had to sit still and think about things. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro. I'm wishing you the best. I bro. I, Man, I, I love to come up, bro. For I can't yeah, even, sure. I can't express it enough, bro. Like I, I, I really, when I say this, I mean it from my heart. Like I genuinely, 
can't wait to see you on top for real. Yeah, because sure. I know it's coming. Like the whole, I feel like you know the whole city behind you though. Yeah, like, I feel definitely. like you know that yeah, though, for sure. right? Like it ain't even even when you lost. Like, I don't think. <laughs> I think that's what I really got to see. Yeah. yeah, it was. I don't think it was like a yeah, niggas turn that back on you. Yeah, you, you know, shit. before, like, the city don't say nothing. Like, so it'd be like, it don't be nothing. Yeah. But, like, when I lost, I think that's when I seen, like, they they, they love me. Like, I'm one of them. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm theirs. Like, they yeah. really love me. I'm talking about, like, I can go to the gas station. Oh, we going to get him back. Oh, oh, we good. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, for sure. Like, yeah. They love me. Now, nah, facts, bro. It is crazy because usually, like, in places, people will be praying for a nigga downfall. Yeah. So, like, when that happened, it, it was kind of dope to see niggas champion and you brace. get behind you. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Nah, that's a fact, bro. I appreciate you, bro. For real, man. Wishing you nothing but success. Yeah, um, sure. Anything we missed? Any uh, miss, miss opportunities? Even UT, I remember... I, I think I was just talking to somebody like, man, you see Jay. I thought he been moved to. I said, bro, I remember when Jay Hill was at DTL. Nah, facts. Yeah, facts. Nah, facts. I remember nah. he was ticking DTL on his back. Like people knew DTL because of you. Nah, I appreciate that, and man. Now you like doing your own. Thing. It's it's crazy because like I was I was talking to somebody. I was saying like you know like Jay Z, Nas, um, even like a Gail King or Oprah, like all of the greats, right? Yeah. They came up together. So it's I'm I'm excited to see the new generation because we're like the people that we're talking to, like people can sleep on them all they want, but they're gonna be the we're gonna be the next greats and it's gonna be like, damn, you seen that nigga Jay just did an interview with Truck. It's gonna be like yeah, that. It might not right. feel like it now, yeah. but it's gonna be like no, yo, I get exactly what you, you get what saying? Saying? I be, I be uh, That's how I look at it. Like, like yo, yeah. you seen that tank and J Hill shit? Like it's it's bound to happen. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So like nah, bro, I, I appreciate the love. The doors open anytime, bro. Anytime you want to promote a fight or whatever, bro. Yeah, man, I'm fact. here, bro, for real. Fact. I really appreciate it. Nah, man. already, man. Tell people how to follow you and all that. Uh, follow me at Lorenzo underscore Simpson on all social sites. Uh, go check in on me on YouTube. Uh, and just follow my process. Follow my journey. Oh, you y'all niggas got that YouTube shit going. <laughs> Y'all no. niggas, yo, y'all niggas no. got that shit that bro. It just that's how you gotta come look, come see us. Nah, man, how much y'all niggas spending, bro? Cause the cameramans ain't cheap, bro. Like y'all got I mean, the vlogs and shit down packed, bro. I mean, it be it be just happening. Nah, I need that. It be yeah. organic. Nah, show me the way, cause y'all <laughs> should be looking like movies, bro. I'm like, I be looking at this yeah, shit. Niggas don't sure. do no interviews, but they got the vlogs. And I'm like, nah, this shit is fire. Yeah, for sure. Nah, man, this is dope, man. J Hill, my man, truck. Uh, that's a wrap. We out. Appreciate it, brother.